their offensive line got dominated in the Super Bowl. Like we all saw that, and that that you know, <laughs> like when you when you literally when you're paying a guy half a billion dollars, you need to protect him. I mean, oh, we're I, the Bucks now, Bucks. What? No, no, I'm talking about Mahomes. I was oh, talking about. Okay, gotcha. Sorry, gotcha. I was, I was, sorry, I was, I was, I was thinking we're talking, talking about, about the, the Buccaneers because yeah. what, what's coming up. But I'm just whatever team that was in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm still in Kansas City. Yeah. Well, Kansas City. Yeah, it's more offensive line, more offensive line, and more offensive line for them. Yeah. And then for what the Bucks, need. man, sorry, whatever yeah. they want, right? Like they can take a punter right now and it'd be okay with it. Yeah. Do they need a punter? They should do it. Do they, 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 they punt? A punt. There's a <laughs> kicker. A There's a, the Lou Groza Award winner still out there. Like, take yeah, a, no, I no, think no, the no, Bucks no, should no. turn in the card and it should just uh, say, we're good. Oh, the Bucks. <laughs> right. yeah, we're good. No thanks. Yeah. Uh, it should no. be noted, though, while everybody's talking about the fact that 22 starters are going to return for the Buccaneers this year, which is the first time ever, it's it should be noted that a couple of those starters were drafted last year. So while we can talk about the super team element and the people that decided they wanted to come play uh, with Brady, I think, you know, there's been a smart point made that a lot of these pieces were already in place uh, for him to come to. Plus, they drafted really well last year. Like, I'm looking at Tampa Bay and saying, tip of the hat, you've drafted well, you built a good roster, you played free agency well, and guess what? You won a dang Super Bowl for it. By the way, why not, like, Davis Mills here or something like that? Spend, whatever, the next two years learning from Brady? Because like, Brady's going to play until we're all dead. He might. He might. He is and it was still a fumble. There's no such thing as he a, is a ah. He is a genetic freak. But in all seriousness, like, I mean, you know, like, Blaine Gabbert's not their quarterback of the future, I don't yeah. think, right? And so, I, you don't really have any needs here. So, why not? Why? I mean, there are some developmental quarterbacks here available. Yeah, and, and that's a good – I mean, Field, you, you taking a developmental quarterback and bringing him into Tom Brady's right. fold, like, I'm not sure how that goes. Oh, it's smart business. Yeah, it's but, good business. You just got to start – they don't have a ton of needs right now, right? And if you like the player – yeah. What, what do you know? The most valuable yes. upside is uh, a Hey, right? look at that. What do they what do? do? Kyle Trask. Trask. Wow. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. When is this, when's he going to start for them? Like 20, it's, it, this Ray Brady's right. not slowing down until 2029, right? That's like, you know. It, which, which, frankly, would fit right into Kyle Trask's career trajectory, yeah, trajectory right? right? Like the man comes in, may not start immediately, just kind of gets under the tutelage of whomever is there and ends up thriving on the back end whenever you do hand him the keys to the team, right? Like I think it's. It's perfect on both ends because you don't need Kyle Strass to start for a given amount of time. He probably wasn't planning on starting for a good amount of time either. So, look, after the production that he had in Florida under Dan Mullen with the tools that he had around him, look, man, I, I, I ain't going to be mad at this for, for, for a Tampa, from a Tampa standpoint whatsoever. You know, even, Mike, if all they do is draft a backup quarterback, that's all he ever becomes doesn't cost them a ton of money. They got a good solid backup they can rely on. Like, I mean, they're so stacked. Why not? He's certainly used to that. I mean, this is a guy that sat behind Derek King in high school in Houston. He did not become a starter until this past season at Florida. So, I say it a bit in jest, but this has kind of been the life that Kyle Trask has lived so far. Listen, I, I, think, it is a, I think it is a great pick. Like I just said, like, they need a backup quarter. They, they don't have their quarterback of the future on the roster. Whenever Tom Brady decides to hang it up, they don't have it. And so – Given that they pretty much are set everywhere else and they return every single starter from last year that won the Super Bowl, why not go out and get somebody who, right, Florida kid, doesn't have to go far? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I, obviously, whatever. What do you have, 43 touchdowns last year, Kyle Trask? Like, this is – I think it's a good pick. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's an interesting prospect, a uh, guy that, you know, listen, every quarterback that doesn't go in the first round has some divisive opinions when you pull people around the league, right? Kyle Trask uh, had ridiculous production. You mentioned the what, 43 touchdowns this past year. A little bit inaccurate, didn't always necessarily make the throws you expect him to make. But he's not going to need to play anytime soon, at least three years. And there was a point in Tom Brady's career where I think it's fair to wonder, like, you know, when you're 32 and they're drafting a backup quarterback – it might serve as fuel for you, right? When you're 43, there's no fuel for Brady. Like, you know, he understands what the deal is, right? I'm going to train this guy, and if he takes to the training and I decide to retire in three years, he could be the year apparent. But, you know, for all I know, like, they could, you know, he, Brady, there's no threat here, obviously, for Brady. So it's a good developmental pick. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.